Well, in September, right around the corner, we're soon going to feel a change in the air. As you heard from Chris, some days next week may barely crack 70 degrees. So why do temperatures we'd welcome in the spring feel so cool as we head into fall? That's a good question Heather Brown first answered a few years ago before the pandemic. Is this the first day you've broken out the jacket? Yes. The heavy jacket. Uh, it's a little chilly. It's a little chilly. Definitely a little chilly. If it was 52 in March, would we be wearing all these jackets? We'd be in shorts and t-shirts <laughs> and loving it. He's right. This is mid-50s in March of last year. Why am I so cold right now? Yeah, your body's not used to it. Mark Blagan teaches physiology at St. Kate's. Uh, if you really want to get used to the cold, go out and uh, without your jacket uh, for a few days and be a little crazy. In the springtime, we see summer ahead of us, mm -hmm. and so it feels warm. But yeah. now we see ice and snow ahead of us, so it just feels colder. For me, it's de there's definitely a big mental component. I think there's something physical about it, too. You've got receptors all over your skin. You've got receptors in your blood vessels that are checking skin temperature, air temperature, blood temperature. They send all that data to the hypothalamus deep in your brain. So think of your hypothalamus yep. as a thermostat. Yep. And it's taking an input from your skin mm -hmm. and from your blood. It's integrating all of that information to say, where am I? That thermostat has a set point. And when we get blasted with cold air, it's new and we have to adjust to a new normal. It's yeah. not, not too bad. Yeah. I should have wore pants. Yeah. <laughs> Bill's fan. I'd say so, right? So on a day like today when it's a little bit cooler, our blood vessels actually constrict a little bit. That takes the heat from our skin to move it to our core. And our bodies react. We have to shiver. The, the hair stands up on our arms to keep us warm a little bit. We get a little bit tense. All that to try to generate heat. How long does it take you to adapt to cooler temperatures? I don't know, a few weeks. It takes me a couple weeks. <laughs> Three months. Heather Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Just in time for it to warm up again. Exactly. <laughs> WCCO 4 News. Again, Heather answered that good question before social distancing and mask mandates. And depending on the temperature swing, adjusting could take a few days to a month.